guys uh welcome to my vlog or rather my youtube channel it's good to be back here so last time i told you guys i'd do a part two video i get to know me video part two uh so i'm going to be sharing 10 things you need to know about myself the first thing is that i went to boarding school when i was in class five i went to gizumu academy it's in my shags in kandara uh from class five to class eight it was an amazing time i teamed up with a couple of people we were a group of eight people three boys five girls who really loved each other we formed this group that was called uh jesus the founder of good hope i am born again i love god i love mission work specifically i teach in high schools and also in church young adults teenagers uh, about the word of god and rather just uh, how to be disciples and make disciples of men uh, i had i think i had my first non-serious boyfriend in class seven i think long story <laughs> And this guy just used to vibe and then it was me used to live in shags like from class five to class eight he used to live with my aunt in shags it was just a funny funny situation I... <laughs> so there's a place i used to pass through so every time he knew what time i used to go to church so every time he used to be there an hour early he used to wait for me at that place every time another thing that you didn't know about me is that i used to write man i've just become lazy i used to write because i want to escape from the current world that i am in but i think um getting born again coming into a space where god is your ultimate satisfaction or rather he becomes the obsession of your heart you cease to look at the world like you used to before so probably that's also something that um uh, made me uh not not so much right because i used to write about my pain what i was feeling at that moment so nowadays it changed so i'm between figuring out where how to express myself and especially when it comes to writing um another thing you didn't know about me is that i I try to be a naturalista. I try to <laughs> me, let me tell you. Me, me and hair. My hair is very natural, but the issue is I'm not very keen on it. Mm. Something else you guys didn't know about me. Oh my god, I in class five, that's that's when the first time I learned how to climb a tree. And I remember it used to be the mango tree at my shushu's place. And it was an amazing thing to do. And then, I don't know if you guys can see, I always have a mark here. Like, between my nose and my lip. I got that mark. <laughs> I got that mark because we went to steal mangoes with my brother and my sister. What do I buy? How I want to? I love who there was, see, so you know the way in Shags they sing Yenge. So, to Kapatwa. But I don't want to sit down, waka toroka, waka diacha na bindi omdoko. This is a bimbi ni kitoroka, ni kashikwa na sing Yenge, kanilarua hapa. My life living in Nairobi, I think my biggest childhood memory, honestly, is always going to the show, the showground. I remember my uncle, Wamboy's dad, used to take me and Wamboy to the show. So I have so many memories of me and Wamboy just crying for for cotton candy by the way and that's something i always disturb a specific person to buy me cotton candy every time that we go out or something i think man show was show was always the highlight of my childhood when i was in Nairobi. when i was in shags um the highlight of my i think being at my grandmother's place i, I used to spend a lot of time at my grandmother's place Though I used to live with my aunt, I used to always go to my grandmother's place, like, almost every time. Three African countries I always want to go to. First of all, Nigeria. Honestly, 
I just can't explain. I think it's because we grew up in the Oga Oga face where Nigerian movies were very were very prominent. For me, Nigeria is one of the countries where boom man, I just wanna I wanna go, I just wanna experience the rich culture, man, and I have to buy kitengas from Nigeria. Second country, South Africa. For no good reason. I think because I have people I know in South Africa, um, or rather yeah, and I think I follow them. I follow, um, I don't know, South Africa is just a Uganda. Uganda is such a vibe, man. I just don't know, don't know about you, but for me, Uganda is always so close to my heart. It's somewhere that is so close to my heart. I think because probably my spiritual father is from Uganda, probably that's why. And I was 22 years old, my first time in Mombasa. Well, I'm told that I went to Mombasa as a child, but I don't know that story. So me, I know the grown-up version. And then I don't know how to swim well, but I love water. <laughs> love water. I don't know how to swim. Let me just say it that way. But I love water. So we went for snow clean, and for me, honestly, at first I thought I was drowning. Because they started drinking the salty water, and it was just so bad. Uh, my best time probably in a, in a county that is not Nairobi was definitely in Watamu. I think the thing about Watamu that I always remember is the gelato. Man, gelato. If you've never had gelato, what are you doing with your, with your life? Uh, the place that we had gelato in Watamu, they just opened up stores in Nairobi, in the hub, and in um, Village Market. So you can try them out, Nansolo Gelato. They really have nice gelato. Plus, you can make your own gelato. I actually made my own gelato, and it tasted just the same way as the gelato in Costo. But I think I like the gelato in Costo because there are many flavors. Mine I made, I think, blueberry and strawberry. Gosh, me, I just love the beach experiences. And especially in the evening when the waves are, are so... The waves just come crashing. Just being in that place where I can be able to play with the water. It's like I'm running after the waves and then the waves run after me. That's just a whole exciting experience. Mm. I think I'll stop there for now. Uh, I'll probably pick this up sometime uh, later. But thank you for joining us today. I think that's that's all I'd share for now. Uh, uh, see you next time. Bye.